Hello Beauty Caterpillars and today we are doing a beauty haul, um, kind of stuff from Winners and Walmart I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's get into the video. These are things I bought in the past few months. I kind of ran out of everything all at once so I kind of just stock up on everything kind of all at the same time. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Starting with uh, things from Winners, I got the Joyco Moisture Recovery Shampoo and Conditioner. This stuff is amazing. It has done wonders for my hair. It looks so good now. It feels so hydrated. It feels so soft. It doesn't feel damaged, even though I have um, dyed it a bunch of times too. And even before I dyed my hair, it used to just be so um, thirsty and dry. But this is the only shampoo I found that has not caused my hair to actually still feel dry, even though it was soft and like it actually feels super, super hydrated. I did do a review of it, I can link it down below, but I got the big guns of this shampoo and conditioner. Um, they are one liter each, and then the shampoo was $24.99 and the conditioner was $29.99, which is really expensive for a shampoo and conditioner, but the smaller bottle lasted me like half a year, if not longer. So I feel like this one will last me a really long time. I don't need a lot of it to like actually feel like it's doing something and foaming in my hair, which is really nice. Um, and it's been doing wonderful and I've been using it and it's, I it took me a while to actually find the big bottle because they had them in and out of stock, but if you find these winners, definitely give them a try because it has done wonders for my hair. I love this stuff. Another thing I picked up at Winners is this um, lip sleeping mask, which it looks just like a dupe for the Laneige one, which I love. I thought I'd give these guys a try because they were only $12.99 for two of them. And you get, I think it's 20 grams each, which is the same amount as the Laneige one, but for a lot cheaper. And one is cherry blossom and one is berry. So I just thought I would try that. And they are by Personic. So I'll let you know. Um, how I think of these once I finish my Laneige one, if they're good or not. I'm sure in an empties video, I'll let you know eventually down the road. And then I picked up these uh, soft curlers as well. I have another one of these that I really wanted to try, but I just didn't have enough to use them in my hair. So um, now that I've got these, I'm going to try these ones. And I also did pick up a different um, type of curler recently as well that I also want to try out and see which one I like better because now with my hair being a lot shorter, um, it holds a curl a lot better. And so I just kind of wanted to try the heatless overnight curling. So I thought I'd give these guys a try. And then from Amazon, I stocked up more on my, um, what are these? Exfoliating cotton rounds. So they have one side that's uh, normal, like a normal cotton round, and the other side is exfoliating cotton round. So I have little bumps on it and stuff. I love these. They come in a pack of, oh, well, each package is 100, but it comes in a, comes in a thing of this, which, uh, it comes in a thing of this, which is 600 in the bag. Um, so you, and I think, I forget how much they are on Amazon, but like 600 basically lasts me like two years. So they're really definitely worth the, the price for me anyways. I love them. I use them with like my exfoliating glycolic toner um, from The Ordinary, which is like my favorite glycolic toner. So, cause that one's only like seven or eight dollars. It's probably now like closer to 10 or 12, but like still it's like 240 mils, way cheaper then the Pixie Glow Tonic does the exact same thing as the Pixie Glow Tonic and is a slightly higher um, glycolic acid solution. The, the Pixie one I think is five and the glycolic, uh, like the ordinary one is seven. So it gets slightly higher for much cheaper. So onto the things from Walmart. I actually got sent, well, this one is something I got sent. It's the Cetaphil Hydro Radiance Hydrating Toner. I got this sent from Influencer. Um, it's an app where you can go on and review things and then also sometimes you get scent products as well. So I got sent this toner. I've used it a couple times. It is really nice. It's a really lightweight toner and it doesn't have any drying alcohols in it, which is really nice. And it doesn't have a scent. It's fragrance free, paraben free, non comedogenic hypoallergenic. Um, helps with dryness, itchiness, roughness, tightness, and weakened skin barrier. It's been nice so far. I do really like it. Um, I may have purchased it again if I can't find the Thyers one because that one I really, really love. Um, it's just because you get way more for like around the same price as this. But this is really nice if you're looking for a market for a new um, toner. The Cetaphil one is really nice. And then I got a coupon in the mail for both of these. This is the St. Ives 
and it's the AHA Exfoliating Toner in Rose. So I was pretty excited. I got both of these for free. <laughs> I used uh, like my one address and then I had another account that my husband used and then I used one ship, one ships to my parents and then one ships to our house so that like, um, cause they can only have one um, address per person, like one IP address. So we make sure we both do them at work so like no one gets it done at, at the house and then also too, I guess I went my parents' address and then our address as well. So yeah, I haven't tried these ones yet, but I'm excited and they have two different other ones as well, but I kind of liked that it was an AHA toner because I don't really need it. There was, there's the other one that's a salicylic acid toner and then there's one that's a glycolic, but I already have a glycolic. So I thought I'd try the AHA toner. So yeah, I'm excited about those. Hopefully it's good because I have two of them, but we'll see. I picked up the Dove Unscented Hairspray because I ran out of my hairspray and this was on sale and it's unscented and so far it's been working nice. It's a four out of five extra hold, which I definitely need because my hair does not hold the curl the greatest unless there's a shit ton of hairspray in it. And then I also have the Dove Dry Shampoo Unscented um, <laughs> Shampoo. Um, so this stuff is really nice. It doesn't leave a white cast in my hair. I really like it. I've gone through a couple bottles of these. Um, they're really nice and they're unscented, which I appreciate. Um, and that doesn't leave a white cast in my hair, which is nice because I have very dark hair. I think I keep repeating myself, but um, I do quite enjoy this. And I've gone through a couple bottles of this because, you know, sometimes you're lazy. You don't want to wash your hair um, super frequently because you're trying to, I'm trying to help protect my hair and like only wash it like once or twice a week. And two, when I was dying it a lot, I was trying to avoid washing it more to help the dye last longer, even though it doesn't really seem to help with my hair. My hair except for that red color that I had for like months on end. Like I dyed it like black, black blue, like a month ago and you can barely tell. It looked really green at first and now it's just kind of like my hair's my normal brown color again. So maybe a little bit darker right now. I can't really tell. Picked up the Equate Cocoa Butter Lotion. I love this stuff. I think it's trying to be the Vaseline cocoa butter one as well but the Nivea one, like the Equate one is just as good a little bit cheaper and it's really nice for like a hand and body lotion um especially because it's winter right now and I really need to keep my hands hydrated and my body hydrated otherwise I get flaky and my hands get super dry because I'm constantly washing them and also it's dry outside in the winter so hydrating in the winter is very important I have two different body washes. One I am currently working my way through and it's near done. Um, one is the Nivea Wild Berry and Hibiscus one. It's a 500 milliliter bottle, it smells really good. And then I also picked up this Dial one because this was on sale. Both of them were on sale at two different times and I was like, well, I'm halfway done this one. Let me get another body wash. And then this body wash was on sale too. So I got the Dial Pamper and Dolled Soy and Almond Milk plus Vitamin E. This stuff's really nice too. So is this one. I thought I would try this CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. It's the dry to normal skin one. It doesn't have any drying alcohols in it. It's a super big bottle. I think it's around like $20. You get 562 mils, which is exciting because of how big it is and how long it lasts. But I also like to try different cleansers too. So I'm kind of like, it's really gentle on the skin. It's really hydrating. It doesn't leave my skin feeling overstripped. I hate a foaming cleanser, which I'm really glad this one is not foaming. Um, and if you're just looking for like, fragrance-free, gentle cleanser. This one is really nice. Um, I would say it's kind of like a um, jelly more type milky, maybe like a milky gel, kind of like a milky, maybe more milky than, well, kind of like a mix between a milky and a gel cleanser, but it is a really nice cleanser. I picked up this Marc Anthony Argan Oil Hydrating Dry Styling Oil. It's supposed to be ultra lightweight, strengthens and smooths frizzy, frizzy hair for shiner, for shinier hair. Um, I have put this on my hair when it's wet. I haven't tried it yet when it's dry, just because it's an oil and I'm just a little worried it's gonna make my hair like super oily, but it has definitely helped with the frizz more than the other one that I had. Um, so I'm so far happy with this. I picked up this CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom by Lash Blast Mascara and I just used it today for the first time. Not my favorite wand. Um, I didn't love it, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it. I, I haven't had CoverGirl in so long and the CoverGirl I used to use was like the orange one um, in waterproof. So I'm excited to try some CoverGirl mascara. And I picked up some more chapstick. I think I picked up another one since, um, but I've since used up both vanilla ones in the time since I bought them and filmed with them. Um, since I bought them to the time I'm filming now. 
Uh, so if you step these ones, I love the vanilla butter be vanilla buttercream. It's my favorite um, by Nivea. And then if I can't get that one, I pick up the, end, but the regular one as well. But I prefer the vanilla butter one, vanilla buttercream one to this one. This one's nice, but I like the vanilla one better. A lot of girls are super obsessed with like the Stanley mugs and stuff right now, but I don't really love the Stanley aesthetic. I really like to take, I always steal my husband's Yeti when he wasn't using it and then like put a metal straw in it. And then I came across in Canadian Tire a metal tumbler, which I love the tumblers because A, they have the straw, um, but I didn't like the fact that like it would get warm really quickly. So I um, really like that this one is insulated, like double walled insulated, like the Yeti, um, but not at nearly the price point of the Yeti. It was on clearance, um, which really makes sense because this, <laughs> this pops off, so that's probably why it was on from $20 to $15, but this is like super easy to fix. I'm just gonna. Um, super glue it. One I tried in the store, I like could not get it back on, so I'm kind of glad that I did try it. But I do really like the fun, colorful color. I'm not a Stanley girl, like I don't need something like that, but this, I was like, this is amazing. I love this. I totally want this. It's by Mana, which I think I have the water bottle by this company as well, like a pink one. But this is so nice. I like the fact that it's double walled insulated and then it's got the metal straws because I love drinking out of a straw. And especially because the metal straw when I put in the fridge, my beverage is in it, mainly milk. Um, it keeps it nice and cool, which is really, really nice. And then you put it in the fridge and like take it out again and your water is like extra cold all day. So that's amazing. So that is everything from my haul for the past couple of months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later, guys. Bye, beautiful. Bye.